Levi Whitney here with Uphill Cinema. Today I wanted to do a quick video on why ProRes RAW is worth it and why you should shoot with it. So if you like this type of content, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell. That helps a lot. One more thing I wanted to mention before we dive into it is Music Bed, we all know Music Bed. They've been doing a film and music conference for the last couple of years. This year it's September 28th and 29th out in Fort Worth, Texas. And when it gets a little closer, I'll dive more into that. But I've arranged a 10% discount code upon checkout. Use Uphill and it'll get you a 10% discount. Um, I really look forward to it. I've always wanted to go to it. Uh, since it's come out so the last couple years and I'm really excited to go this year collaborate and meet and we'll dive more into that but I just want to let you know you have a discount and I'm really stoked that they were uh, nice enough to provide that for me and, and for you the subscribers and followers. So the first reason why I think ProRes RAW is worth it is 12-bit color space. So what does that mean? Well the internal codec of the FS5 for example is an 8-bit uh, XAVC long op codec. It is a very interesting codec, but we won't dive too much into how it works or how it's recording. But all you need to know is it has roughly about 16 million colors with 8 bit. Well, when you use ProRes RAW, send the signal out into the Shogun uh, Inferno by Atomos, you get instantly 12 bit color. Now, what's the difference? Well, 8 bit is roughly 16 million colors and 12-bit is 68 billion colors. So that's a difference, I wrote it down, of 67,908,000,000. So why is that so amazing? Well, your eyes, they say, see in 12-bit. Every movie out there nowadays, well, most movies nowadays are shot with a 12-bit to 16-bit camera. Um, and it just gives you a more natural looking feel. And so what else does that do besides the colors? Well, Alistair Chapman, if you don't know him, he is an amazing Sony guru. Um, and he talks about how you get so many more lumens. Now, what does he mean by that? Well, you're getting more value of color, white, gray, or black too in there in each step of dynamic range. So don't be confused that you're gonna get more dynamic range out of ProRes RAW. If the sensor is set at eight stops, you're only gonna get eight stops. The FS5, for example, is set at 14 stops. You're always and only going to get 14 stops. The sensor can't do anything more than what it's set at. The type of stops those are is very different from 8-bit, 10-bit to 12-bit. ProRes RAW, 12-bit, way better stops within each stop of latitude of dynamic range. The colors look a lot more natural, more flattering to me. Um, everyone, all the DPs that I've shown it to, directors, even even directors and some of them, you know, they're not camera gurus or, or anything like that, but they look at it and they're like, that is amazing. It looks beautiful. And so to me, it was like a whole new camera when I started shooting ProRes RAW with the FS5 or the FS7. It was just a whole new ballpark of a camera. So what else does 12-bit do? Well, because there's not the compression of 8-bit, the noise is a lot better noise. And it's funny that Alistair Chapman, he recently just did a video about this because I've been stewing on this for a couple weeks now, what to write, and he hit a lot of the same things that I'm gonna talk about. But the noise is there because in 8-bit they compress it and they get there's denoising just in the camera. Well, with ProRes RAW, there's no denoising, and so you just get the natural noise of the sensor, and it's very pleasing to me. It's a more tight-knit pattern. It's, it's a cleaner noise. It's not this blocky, chunky, 8-bit um, compression of noise. So to me, a lot cleaner, more filmic-looking noise, and I like it. I've never denoised any of the projects that I've been on shooting ProRes RAW, no one has mentioned that it has bothered them. They don't even mention it. Um, it looks very, very pleasing. I have shot, I think now about um, five or six commercials all on ProRes RAW. Everyone's like, this is night and day better. 
and it looks like a much more expensive camera. So the third and final thing with 12-bit color and 12-bit color space is the highlight roll-off is a much more soothing, creamier, nicer highlight roll-off. What do I mean by that? Well, 8-bit seems to be you know, when it goes into that highlight roll off, it just kind of, it doesn't really roll off. It just stops. It just goes black, middle gray, and then white. It doesn't really roll off this nice, soft gradient of roll off. And Proto Draw, I think looks absolutely phenomenal and I, and I love it. So to wrap number one up of the 12 bit color, you're getting 16 million versus 68 billion colors. You get a much better highlight roll off and a tighter, cleaner noise pattern, which becomes just beautiful and more filmic of an image. So reason number two is, reason number two why Proto's Raw is worth it, it is so much more computer friendly. While using Final Cut with other codecs like long op codecs of any sort of any camera, but the internal of the Sony FS5, it can bog your computers down. If you throw it in Premiere, it slows it down. You throw it in Final Cut, it slows it down. Even like the A7S and A7R cameras, any alpha cameras, even that codec can really kind of bog your computers down because it, it's having to put back this image where ProRes and now ProRes RAW just flies right through. It is simple, your computer just plows right through it. I mean, Apple knows what they're doing when it comes to developing a Kodak to work with Final Cut. That's what they did with ProRes and they've done it again with ProRes RAW. It's a much easier workflow and I absolutely love that it just works. So reason number three why I think ProRes RAW is worth it is it gives me the control of the image I want. So when the camera does the compression and denoising and sharpening in camera, that gives me, what if I don't want it that sharp? What if I don't want it to be denoised? Those things are just eliminated. It, it makes the choice for you. There's no way around it. Even to the fact of if I make big, big mistakes, I overexpose. Um, I completely botch the, the color temperature. And I actually have done so many tests and examples using ProRes RAW. And so I wanted to show some of those because this, is, this example is me shooting the model at 3200K. The lights were at 3200K and the camera is set at 3200 Kelvin. And then mid shooting, I said, okay, I'm gonna flip it and change the color temp in camera to 5500, which turned everything orange. Now, if I was recording 8-bit internal, it would, there's no way you could get it back and look presentable. ProRes RAW, boom, it goes right back and it looks, looks absolutely amazing. You can't even tell. And that's the flexibility of RAW and ProRes RAW. And ProRes RAW, what's so nice is it's just, I just made my changes in Final Cut's color wheels and I just that's all I did instead of going into the panels that we're kind of used to on on different raw codecs you know going in and changing the color temp and all that this is just all you just get so much more latitude and all your settings are right in your in your color grading um, tab and so it's a different way of, of doing things but it's super simple super easy and I love it so yeah hopefully that was informational I'll see you guys next time don't forget to follow me on Instagram uphill cinema you can always direct message me there or direct message me on YouTube and yeah I'll see you next week and don't forget to like and subscribe thanks guys bye